All right, part four of porting the LS cylinder heads. Today we're working on the short turn radius. And I'm hoping that I can uh, familiarize you with where this is at. It can be confusing sometimes, especially when reading on the uh, the threads about this. Okay, the uh, intake short turn radius. Let's go into one port here. This is your intake port, exhaust port. The short short turn radius will be right here. All right. When we're working on this, we want to make sure we're just touching this hump here and not going to the walls or to the floor of the port further past it. One way I try to look at it is as if you're just trying to be able to see a direct line through this port from here out the other side. So if you take this down, you'll be able to see more out the port. And that's what we're working on today. I don't have a way to measure this, so I'm not going too far in. I'm just taking down a little bit, making sure not to go too far up the walls and going through all the ports. It also helps to come from the other side depending on what's, how long your burr is, but it helps to go from both uh, both ports from this side and coming from the uh, from the intake side. Here's the uh, view of the intake side. And just come in and just that hump that hump that's right there on the intake port right behind the valve. You want a straight shot coming in from the intake side to the back of the valve. You want to get rid of this speed bump that's in the way here. That right there will dramatically improve airflow. Also I forgot to mention this is a step that I forgot or I skipped, did not know about the first time I ported the uh, LS heads. You'll see on my other video. Those flow numbers I got which outflow Z06 heads with basic 853 casting heads was without even touching this area which was very important and you get a lot of improvement for this so even without this outflow Z06 heads this should give us even better gains alright stand by for step 5 <laughs> 